Like most people, I cannot wait to get back to the normalcy of life in terms of going out to events, bars, clubs, being able to even like just walk down the street without thinking, wait, do I have my mask or, or not? I, I can't remember. Or do I have to go back home and grab my masks? And especially for 2021, the one thing I've been very focused on and looking at is music festivals. Music festivals 2021 is a major question in a lot of people's minds, whether you are a musician, whether you are a vendor, someone who builds the stages, whether you're just someone who just goes and you're like, hey, I just want to go to music festivals because that's my thing. I think a lot of people have music festivals in mind, and especially for me being into electronic music and being a DJ and electronic music producer, the big electronic festival I've been thinking about is Electric Force. It is hands down my favorite festival. They basically turn like a force into a nightclub. This is the best way I can word it with incredible lights, lasers, pyrotechnics, everything you can think of. I tried to recreate some Electric Force vibes here in my backyard. I mean, not the full scale of Electric Force, but I'm trying to get there, you know? And I just received this email from Electric Force and they said, greetings Forest family. We are all excited to be moving into the new year and eager to gather together again. With that in mind, Force HQ is currently concerning options for Electric Force summer 2021 dates. While we are holding to our typical June timeframe, we have to consider health and safety guidelines, as well as artist, infrastructure, and vendor availability. These all play a part in confirming a date for summer 2021. And honestly, I have no idea what to expect. Now, I already did a video about Ultra Music Festival. In case you didn't know, Ultra is arguably the biggest electronic music festival in the world that happens every year in March in Miami. And in that video, I said, look, it's pretty much not gonna happen. I think March is too close in 2021. The are starting to roll out all the vaccinations. I just read actually, like right before I started filming this video, that we just approved of the FDA here in America, just approved a second vaccine. We have two different vaccines now, and that's awesome. However, March, way too close. Ultra might even be maybe postponed till later in the year, or they might just say, you know what, we're just gonna push it back next year to Ultra 2022. We'll have to take these couple years off because obviously Ultra of 2020 obviously did not happen. But Electric Force of 2021, I honestly don't know what to expect because on one end, it's in the summer, right? And I think that that is huge because a lot of people are looking to summer of 2021 being, look, summer 2021 is gonna be the best summer ever, but who knows? I mean, I was reading one statistic that said roughly about 70% of Americans will be vaccinated by May of 2021. So that's good. That means let's say if most people are vaccinated or three quarters of the country's vaccinated, then by summer of 2021, hopefully things will be almost open back to normal again. But on the other end, even if that is true, it might still be too close. The government might say, well, you know, we know that most of you are vaccinated now. However, we still want to have a couple month grace period just to make sure everything's running smoothly. And they might still have some minor restrictions. And that's why they said in the email that obviously they are still looking hopefully to the end of June, which is when Electric Force typically happens. But I don't know what to expect. I mean, they might even say, look, you know, just to be safe, we're gonna push it back to the end of July or maybe even in the end of August. I don't even know. I mean, who knows? Maybe something does pop up. I mean, obviously 2020 was arguably the most unexpected year ever. <laughs> so maybe 2021 things are gonna switch up and maybe we have really, really good luck. But who knows if other stuff pops up and they say, look, you know, sorry, but Music festivals 2021 is just not gonna happen at all. Or maybe Electric Forest tries to push it back maybe even till post summer, maybe end of September. I honestly don't know what to expect. I am hopeful, because obviously, like I said, Ultra, definitely not gonna happen. But Electric Forest, it's on that fence. It's on that 50-50 where I could easily see it going either way. Obviously for this video, most people are asking the question, is the Electric Forest gonna happen or not? Or even with music festivals too for 2021. But I think a bigger question is not only will festivals happen, but how will they? And what I mean is, are there gonna be more restrictions? Obviously there has to be, like say, Electric Forest gets a green light and it happens at the end of June. And you know, most people are vaccinated. They might even have you maybe bring your ID, you know, obviously just to show identification and maybe your vaccination card, which I heard they might start doing. So maybe it says when you get to the front gate, Electric Forest to say ID and vaccination card. I mean, nobody knows what's gonna happen for next year, but I feel like that even if Electric Force does happen in 2021, which I feel like I'm pretty confident well, if I'm gonna be honest, if I had to like put my money on if it's gonna happen or not, I think it will. But I think there's, there's gonna be a ton of different things we have to basically focus on in terms of masks are definitely be required. You know, I think social distancing, even if you have the vaccines, probably still gonna be encouraged just to be safe. There might even be these kind of unique sections where maybe when it comes to, you know, being in front of the stage at the different quadrants. I know they've been kind of tr testing that out with different other festivals in the world where you basically have your own section, almost like you have your own table, kind of like bottle service, or you know how they have the drive-in raves that they're doing now. So maybe there'll be different sections where 
This event squares, you have to stand within your square with your friends. You know, I, I don't know, especially with the Electric Forest as well being a camping festival. And as you can imagine, camping festivals get way more intimate. I have honestly no idea what to expect. You know, but let me know what you think in the comments. Being honest, if I had to put money on it, I will say the Electric Forest is gonna happen. I'm not sure it's gonna happen at the end of June. I wouldn't be surprised just to be safe if they say, all right, you know what, not in June, just because it's still a little too early, but maybe at the end of August, just to kind of give that two month old grace period. At the same time, even if it does happen, like say at the end of August, for example, I still think there has to be inevitably some restrictions where it's gonna be, you know, wearing masks or, you know, having to be vaccinated, obviously I think will be a big requirement, potentially, maybe less camping, or I don't know, you know, maybe they'll still have camping, but it's gonna be more like sectioned off somehow. So I think there will be inevitably some restrictions. However, if a logic force happens in 2021, you could argue is gonna be the most insane logic forest yet.